bloody hell. How am I going to keep this out of the newspapers? Father will kill me. If he doesn't, I will. Oh, thank oh. God you're alive. Oh, no. oh. thanks to you. Oh. What the hell do you think you were doing? It's not blood. It's wine. <laughs> Yes, Julian. Ace shot that you are, you managed to kill one of your favorite ports. Yes. Such a fine vintage. Hmm. Well, you can always take another shot at me if you like, but knowing you, you'd no doubt blow it again. You know damn well I wasn't trying to kill you. Well, then what were you thinking? Bursting in here like some rich man's Charles Bronson. Oh, let me guess. Did you come up with a, a yet another vulgar sex game? The cat burglar and the vigilante? Well, if it were a sex game, I'd hardly be playing it with you, my frigid, humorless wife. In fact, I heard a noise down here, and I had no idea that you were up at this hour, and I assumed someone had broken in. Well, let me guess. Did you think that the intruder was perhaps, mm, oh, I don't know, T.C.? Funny, he's seen the proof of your affair with Eve, and he's come to kill you. Whether Eve was able to get rid of whatever is in that bird, we both know that if TC finds out whatever it is, he'll come looking for you. Or should I say, um, hunt you down. I'm quaking in my slippers. <laughs> well, I would be if I were you, Julian, dear. A man like that, known for his hair trigger temper. Oof, I shudder to think at what he would do to any man he caught fooling around with his wife. Just shut up. What? That's it? What happened to your caustic bravado, darling? Or have I touched a nerve? Not at all. I'm just getting sick and tired of listening to your desperate rantings and ravings. You know what strikes me? You're the one who's on edge tonight. <laughs> oh, no. Hardly. Yeah. What are you doing up at this hour? Mr. Sandman didn't pay a visit tonight? Something weighing heavily on that twisted mind of yours. Maybe you're down here licking your wounds, hmm? <laughs> Dream on, darling. Yes, so all that effort to acquire some inconsequential knick-knack. Did you really think there was something hidden in it that you could lord over me and Eve? Poor I. Pinning all her schemes and dreams on a figment of her own imagination. And poof! Turns out to be a big nothing! Now Eve has the bird, and if there ever was anything inside it, it's gone now. You lose, Ivy. Is that what you think, Julie? That I've lost? Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a little brandy. Boom! <laughs> Well, for someone who claims such confidence, you are a little jumpy. <clears throat> you have to continue amusing yourself on your own, darling. I'll take my drink, going up to bed. You make sure Pilar cleans this mess up first thing. Well, I, you know, I guess I'd be a little edgy if I were you, too. I mean, TC is such a volatile man, and he has such anger towards the cranes. If he had proof that you'd actually slept with his wife. Well, I can think of worse fates than being your widow. Go to hell, Ivy. <laughs> oh, God. oh, hey, cowboy. Don't forget your pistol. He's running scared. I wonder what he's going to do now. Hello. This is the on-call doctor, Eve Russell. Is this an emergency? Yes, it's an emergency. It's Julian. How the hell did you get my beeper number? Oh, please, Eve, you should know I get anything I want. But we need to talk. Now. How dare you call me at home at this hour? I had to. Something's going on with Ivy. I'm afraid it has something to do with that damnable bird. She's bluffing, Julian. Are you sure? Did you open it? No. 
TC did. Oh my God! Just calm down. There was nothing inside. You certain? Of course I am. If there had been, you could be damn sure that TC wouldn't be upstairs and he'll sleep in. Yes, I suppose not. I, I, I don't understand. There's only one explanation, Julian. It wasn't Orville's bird statue. That's all. That bird, the one with the incriminating photos of you and me, was obviously burned in the fire I set, like I originally thought. But what was the bird that Ivy got a hold of? I don't know, and I don't care. All that matters to me is that now my family won't know how low I once sunk with you. No, no. Is that any way to talk to your old paramour? You are a pig, Julia. You always have been and you always will be. You still have that deliciously saucy hot temper that always turned me on. Stop fighting it, Eve. One more night together for old time's sake. Surely you still think about the way we were together. Never with anything but loathing and shame. Harsh words, Eve. Not to mention, you must be out of your mind to even suggest such a thing. Do you have any idea what my husband would do to you if he even suspected there was something between you and me? There's no reason TC need ever know we've kept our tempestuous past from him this long. Surely we could keep a little fling undercover, so to speak. Oh, you just. Honey? I thought you were sleeping, do you think? Yes, 